as you approach the south, the hearts open up, the people are smiling, they have less, they are essentially and um, generally without the abundance that, that Italians have in the north, but they are happy. And this is so appealing to me. To be at the table is, is the celebration every day in the south, that in the north we are losing this approach. And so in the south, because they are more poor, I speak generally, I don't speak specifically, um, it's an event to sit together in the evening. And the food, though they have so little um, in terms of, of money, they have a very textured cuisine. They have a very Baroque cuisine, if you will, with many layers of flavors. They like to put raisins and pine nuts, for instance, in their, in their meat stews. They like to cook with spices. There's a Saracen influence, an Arab influence. So it's, a, it's, it's like a, a festival for every meal. When I learn about the food, I, I am learning not only about a formula, how to fix a dish, but I'm learning all the stories behind the dish. And so this is, for me, the culinary patrimony that is so important to save. And that's why I write the books. There are so many stories I could tell you, but one that I love, perhaps more than the others even, is a story about the raiz. The raiz is known as, uh, it's another ancient Arab word for king. And he is the man who, on the island of, of Favignana, that he, um, how do you say, um, he is the, the capo, he is the head of the tuna fishermen. And one time in a year, on a special day, when the weather is right and the moon is right and the waves are right, um, they lay the nets in a trap for the tuna. They lay the nets down into the water and they do it all very in a medieval way, like they've been doing it for hundreds and hundreds of years. Nothing changes about this ritual. It's magnificent to see. He took us out on the boat. They laid the nets. All the fishermen are at hand with spears, not with guns, not with, with spears. And they make this chant that is really Arab, an Arab chant, like a prayer. And, and it's, it's very interesting to hear. And at a certain point, Daris raises his hands and the nets are pulled up and they spear the tuna. There, there is a certain viciousness about what I'm talking about, but this is how these people have survived for centuries and centuries. And so they take the, the, the tuna and they, right there on the boat, start to feed the fishermen by slicing it and, and cooking it very quickly over a wood fire that they have made on the side of the boat. And they celebrate that they have another year to live because they'll take the fish back, they will take to the cannery, they will have a way to make some money to export some of the tuna and the rest to feed their families. So when you live this close to the edge, as we say, um, that if you have a good tuna hunt, you will survive and if you don't, it, perhaps life will be a little more difficult. This is the essence of the South. This is the essence.